So many people think that God is out to get them. But I say that God is out to love you, and God is out to forgive you. God forgets the past, so we need in our own lives to intimidate God. In Matthew 18, 21 and 22, it says, Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? And Jesus said to him, I say not to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. In other words, infinity. How often must we forgive those that wrong us in some way? More times than we can count. Our children are precious, but imperfect. So are our spouses, our parents, our friends. Inevitably, those close to us will hurt us and offend us as we travel down life's road together. And we'll do the same, let me tell you. But when they do, we must forgive in our hearts. We must find that place in our hearts to forget. Otherwise, we disobey God's ways. Are you often and easily frustrated by the imperfections of others? Have you let past offenses imprison you in bitterness or in anger? Well, if so, ask God to heal your hurts and help you to forgive those who have inflicted them. Bitterness and anger are not a part of God's plan for your life. But what is a part of God's plan for your life is forgiveness. Today, if there exists even one person, alive or dead, whom you have not forgiven, and, my friend, that includes yourself, follow God's commandment and God's will for your life, and forgive and release.